Okay, everyone, welcome back to Respect the Pick, our podcast, our YouTube show. We have the Respect the Pick crew sans Mark this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so me and Mark have done an episode without him, or -hmm. without you, and me and you have done episodes without him. When are you two going to do an episode without me? Once we don't have to be at your house to record. You know, you got Riverside. You can do it with That's Riverside. True. That's true. That's true. Well, the reason why it is Sans Mark for this episode, it is because we heard some fantastic, at least I think it's fantastic mm-hmm. news. I'm very excited. I've been saying this needs to happen for a long time. But we just heard that Nintendo and Sony Pictures? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like a it. weird combination with, you know, PlayStation and Nintendo, I don't think you it know, is Sony. being comp- competitors, but they're going to make a live action mm-hmm. Zelda movie. Yeah, I'm very pumped about that. We've um, spent a lot of time on this podcast talking about Zelda. I wonder what the storyline is going to be because there's so many different storylines within the Zelda canon, you know what I mean? Right. I mean, just the timeline alone is so convoluted when it comes to the Zelda storyline. Right. I mean, so I'm, I'm, I'm very hopeful that it's going to be good because the Mario movie was good. Um, right. Now, when I heard about this, my um, the director of the first Thor movie, uh, yeah. Kenneth Branagh, is that, am mm-hmm. I saying his name right? I don't know. He's the guy who plays... Um, why can't I think of his name? Uh, Gild- Gilderoy Lockhart in uh, Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. That's the, he directed the first Thor movie. And when he heard about the Thor movie and they asked him to do it, he said his biggest concern was the tone of the movie. Mm-hmm. And I think Zelda's going to have a very similar problem. You know, you want it to be serious, but at the same time, it's kind of – it's very childlike and very – you know what I mean? So I don't like, think it should be too, too serious. I think it should almost be like Thor Ragnarok, where it's kind of got some okay serious elements to it, but is kind of like jokey and fun and whimsical. Right. Um, I think that the the biggest issue is Lincoln doesn't talk. <laughs> you know. Right. He what the talk. hell? I almost think you have to get a no name to play Link. Am I right? Like a I like don't... a new actor. Right, like you can't get Tim Sh- Chalamet in there to play Link, right? Well, I'm sure he'll talk in the movie. Right, I understand that, but... Maybe they'll I get mean, Chris Pratt. Maybe they'll get Chris Pratt. Get he's him. too old. He's too old to play Link. <laughs> no, it was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> like, um, maybe t- like Tom Holland. You can't get Tom Holland in there playing no. Link. I, I think you got to get a no name, like with I the original know. Superman. I don't know. I think, th- I think there are a few people that could do it really well. I think... Um, who plays? No, he's too old too. Who? I was thinking Jamie Lannister because he's got like the blonde hair. Oh yeah, he he's way too old. He's way too he old. Could, he would he, like you. The Game of Thrones people would be perfect for side characters, mm-hmm. you know. For sure. But I mean, um, think about it. You got all the Zora guys, and you got Goron guys, and you got uh the the was it Grudos? Yeah, the Gerudos. Yeah, the Gerudos. You got all those people, so you got great room for some big characters, and you and I think you can fill in the celebrities with them, like like Superman did. They had Marlon Brando play Superman's dad. They had Gene Hackman play Superman's enemy, but they had a no name play Superman, and I think that's the way to go with Link too. Well, so I'm I'm just trying because ever since I heard about it, I'm thinking like who would be the who would be my dream casting. You know what I mean for the movie? Okay. Like, I, but and the the person I get stuck on, the two I get very stuck on is Link and Zelda. Like, who do you get to play them? Zelda? You might be able to pull off another. You know, like again, I think I think um, the woman who played the Princess Peach would be better as a live action Zelda than a Princess Peach. Again, I can't think of her name. Why are all the names slipping my head? <laughs> I'll let you. Queen's that Gambit out. lady. Um, what that? She was like, in the menu, and of course now my phone is really slow. No, nah, it's cool. I'll well, you you can figure it out. Um, but I was thinking people like 
Like, which iteration are we going with? That's the problem. Like, what iteration of the characters are we doing? True. Right. Like, you don't want Wind Waker. You don't want that I one. Want, I kind of hope don't... they do. I kind of hope they do an, another Zelda movie that's animated like Wind Waker. I think that would be so much fun. Well, they had a show. I think way back. You probably don't know about it. It was before. Yeah, it was terrible. Uh, Right, yeah, and I think that's part of the problem. But I've been saying well, they they need to try it again for years because it was like a, it was like the CDI Zeldas they were trying to be like like the one yeah. with Gamelon. Yep, yep. Like, who played that? And uh, that's why I almost think Zelda would be better off as a TV show. Uh, I don't know a live action TV show like, like Game of Thrones because the story can be that huge. You know, there's, you know, you could, you could spend like a whole season in, in Zora. You can spend a whole season with, uh, you know, the, the Kokiri, uh, dudes. Who's, who are those? Yeah. Kokiri, those dudes. Yeah. You could spend a whole season on that, you know, and then it all comes together mm-hmm. when he finally fights Ganon. Uh, I don't know. I think that, let me just say, I think the best person to play Ganon is Danny DeVito. Not Ganon Dorf, but Ganon. <laughs> Is there wait? Is there a difference between Ganon and Ganondorf? Yeah, Ganondorf's like a big, strong man, and Ganon's like a like a friggin' pig monster. They're connected. Okay. They're connected, right. but Ganondorf. Okay, <laughs> I think that's. I think he'd be perfect. But here's the thing: who's gonna build the prop big enough? You know, you got to build this giant fucking sack to fill all the shit that Link can carry around with him. You know, they don't get to just have it disappear into his pocket anymore. He's, he's got to, <laughs> like, he's going to be fighting someone. He's going to be like, hold on, I got to get my bow and arrow out. Stay right there. Hold on. <laughs> you know? Maybe, maybe it'll be like a magic satchel that he uses or something. I a la Harry Potter, Hermione. Yeah. In uh, the Poppins. last the last book, Mary Poppins. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, it has to, right? With all the shit that he's carrying around. Yeah. You can't have all that shit on his belt. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's not Batman. He doesn't have a bat I, belt. I'm really, I'm really excited to see what, how they do and what they, what they incorp- what they decide to incorporate and what they decide to leave out. I hope they bring in the hook shot because yeah. I love the hook yep, shot. The hook I think shot it'd be really boomerang. funny to see to see Link use the hook shot for the first time. He's like, whoa. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. <laughs> but it's kind of like Clue. Did you ever see the Clue movie? I didn't. Because they have to the the pieces what they use in the game is so important. It's such a big part of the game. So they mm-hmm. had to really make it stand out in the movie too, like the wrench and the candlestick and the rope and the revolver and the pipe and all that shit. It's the same thing with Zelda. They have to really kind of like introduce each weapon and why he needs it in the cases that he needs it. Right. Right, you know, so like, are they going to show him like shooting an arrow to open a door, or are they going to show him try to solve puzzles to get through a dungeon? It's it's kind of fascinating. I, yeah, I don't. Well, and how are they going to do the monsters? Like, that's going to be CGI, obviously. Oh yeah, it, yeah. Like, how cartoony are they going to make them? Like the pig, the moblins, the pig guys. I don't know. Again, they, are they you have like, you have a tone problem. With Zelda, it could I mean, get it's really like how scary. how adult, how scary do you want to make it if you're going to make it family oriented? I mean, I guess it could be Dungeons and Dragons. Did you see that movie yet? Mm-hmm. That movie, no. I thought it was really fun. I thought it was Again, a lot I have, of fun. I have a I have a problem with them trying to make a movie about a story about a game that's about creating your own story. You know what I mean? I have a problem with that. Okay, that's what D and D is. It's a game designed to make a story with your friends. Mm-hmm. Not play the story that's already been set for you. So I have a problem when they right. take a game that's about creating a story and just give you a story. Okay, that makes sense. I can get on board with that. But I, I think the tone of that movie might be a good one for for Zelda. Mm-hmm. You should watch it. You should watch the movie. It, it, it's know. fun. I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting much out of it, but. It turned out pretty good. It turns out I like Chris Pine a lot more than I ever thought I would because he seems such like such a douchey, pretty boy kind of guy. But I loved him in Wonder Woman, and I loved him in Horrible Bosses and or Horrible Bosses too. And I loved him in Dungeons and Dragons. I thought Dungeons and Dragons was done really well. There's some really funny stuff in Dungeons and Dragons. What do you think about Millie Bobby Brown as Zelda? She might work. She could work. I think, I think Anna, I got her name by Anna, Anna Taylor Joy. 
you, mm. she'd play Princess Peach. I think she would be a great live action Zelda. As long as I don't have to hear talking about the, the red moon rises upon the land. So well, tired of that goddamn cutscene. Just <laughs> skip it. You can skip the cutscene. I try. Scene. If you don't start soon enough. You're still but, playing that game. Dude, I, I told you I can only play it when my wife's around. Oh, We're sure. at the part. We got all the five sages. Or is it, mm. is it four or five? We have to find the extra one. Mm, okay. So we're in the we're in the um, sky ruins. We got to find out what say what sage it is in the sky ruins. That's where we're at right now in the main storyline. But so you're we haven't. Far. Yeah, we haven't played in months. We haven't played since uh, I want to say late September, maybe early October. As of t- this recording, it's now what November ninth today. Yeah, so it's November been 9th. it's been quite a few weeks since we've got to play. We did a lot of planning for our trip, and we've been doing a lot of episodes, and I've been recording stuff for my other YouTube channel, so it's been tough. See, if I play a game that I love, I can't stop until it's done. You know I, tr- I tried playing that game handheld. I can't do mm-hmm. it. I can only play it on the TV. I, I can't fair. handheld it. And there's been a lot of rumors, speaking of handheld, there's been a lot of rumors of Switch 2 coming out being a little bit more like a 3DS, being foldable. Have you seen that? I've seen that, but that that the the fact that that's released means that that's not what's happening. Mm, you think there it's a smoke screen to kind of hide? Well, no. Do you remember when before the Switch came out they had the the like XM? No. If they release a patent, that means they're not using it. Okay. Um. So what was the XM supposed to be? It was going to be like the Switch, where it's like you have it in your hand. It was supposed to be. It told us that they were going for a both a mobile and a home console in one, mm-hmm. but it's not even close to what it looked like. Like look, look up. I don't know if that's the exact name of it, XM, but it was something like that. Okay. Um, yeah, the Switch. The Switch is just a better version of the Wii U, because I love the concept that you know I could play Mario Brothers on the TV and then look down and play it on that controller too. But, but I mean, that controller not... was huge and wonky, and the touch screen was was really. You know, bad technology the Wii, the and bad. the Wii yeah, U. Yeah, good. the Wii, I, the Wii U just never took off the way it should. I mean, I'm a lot of people didn't even know existed. Yeah, I don't know. I like the Wii U. I I like the Wii U just fine. It brought us Mario Maker. I loved using that touchscreen for Mario Maker. Um, and then Mario Maker Two, you didn't have a good tool, a good pen to do it with. But see, I wasn't super into Nintendo home consoles until Pokemon came to the home consoles. And that's when I started getting into like Zelda and stuff. Even though the first Zelda game I played was on my 3DS. Uh, which one? Link Between Worlds. Oh, Link Between. Yeah, that's Remember a good the game. the one that like where they go flat. That is good. Yeah. I want to I want to stream playing that game. I want to I want to play that with 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 my wife, but there's no way to get it on TV, right? Is there a way to get a there 3DS? There is, but it's there is way are ways to do it, but I don't know how you do it. I'd have to maybe do some research, see if I can figure that out. Because yeah. because I've only you played it through once. I have the game. Um, I've only played it through once, so I don't remember it that well. It's tough because it's I played Link. I bet I've, I've played Link to the past for years. So having the map mm-hmm. be a little, you know, this like the same map, but things are in different spots, kind of throws me off quite a bit. But yeah, yeah I, I definitely would, would love to play that game again with my wife because we had a blast playing that one that was converted to Switch. Which one Link's was that? Link's Awakening? Yeah, we had so much fun playing Link's. Link's. Mm-hmm. That's one of the better well, Zelda games. That game games. was great. Yeah. That game was great. I loved it. I played it with my roommate. I wish they would do that with like the original Zelda and Link to the Past, you know, update the graphics, mm-hmm. make it a little bit more 3D looking, and, uh, yeah. you know, put but it on I the want... Switch. Don't make it hyper realistic though. Like make it cartoony like that. Right. Okay. So then that is that how you want the movie to be too? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Because I initially thought when they made because I I was certain they would make a Zelda movie after the success of the Mario movie. I, was I agree, but I thought for sure it would have been animated. Right, me too. To and hear that it's gonna be live action is is kind of mind blowing to me. It's yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what to expect with it being live action. Because I, I, they, they could almost do both. 
yeah, I kind of want them to do both. Like, like have a have this this live action movie be Twilight Princess, and the next movie be Wind Waker. You know what I mean? Like, I think that Twilight would be fun. Twilight Princess. I didn't like Twilight Princess as much as say, um, Ocarina of Time or even Sky the Sky one. What's the Sky one? Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. Um, I liked a lot. The reason I say Twilight Princess is because it had the most intense art style. Yeah. It was pretty, you know, um, a little realistic. And that that was the one that came out on what GameCube and then was supposed to introduce in this the was supposed to introduce no, it the, came Wii. Out on the Wii. It but it came, came out, out on both Wii. both at the same time, I think. No, that was Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild came out at the Wii U and the Switch at the same time. Nah, pretty sure Twilight Princess came out on the GameCube. No, because I'm pretty sure Skyward Sword came before Twilight Princess. Pretty sure Skyward Sword came before Twilight Princess, and then Twilight Princess came out. They were Is Twilight the Princess the one you could turn into a dog? A yes. wolf or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, then I'm pretty sure it came out on whatever before the Wii. Or maybe it was sure? Wii to Wii U. Wind Waker well, came out on the, the GameCube. Yeah, let me let me look. We'll do some Keep research. Talking. Talk, talk, speak. Um. So, but yeah, I think I I'm, I'm really hopeful that it's going to be a, a good movie. Um, I think that there's a lot of potential. I I wondering, like like you said, tone is a, a big issue. I think we're kind of we're starting to get repeat ourselves here. Okay. But, um. But I just I just want to see what fun things they bring. Like, is he going to be smashing pots with his stewards and taking people's money and then have them like old lady reach out the door and go, Hey, when he's taking rupees out of their front lawn. Cause he's <laughs> right. Pots. And, and hopefully they'll hire, um, you know, people with speaking lines instead of people just going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how many, <laughs> how many times have we played out that joke on this channel? A couple times now, a couple times. I think that's the first twilight princess GameCube. Huh? I'm yeah, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure they wanted to introduce the Wii with it. They wanted to, you know, they have a big, big, mm. big, big game for the introduction of the, Wii, of the Wii, but they knew that a lot of people weren't going to be able to get one, so they wanted to have it on GameCube, too, so they could at least sell the game. So Skyward Sword must have come after Twilight Princess, because Skyward Sk Sword was definitely Wii yes. exclusive. Sk uh, Skyward Sword, wasn't that Wii U? No, that was the Wii. Okay. Because... The whole thing about that game is you had to use the Wii Mote like a sword. Okay, yeah. I remember. Um, I very distinctly remember playing it when I was very young before the Wii U had came come out. Now they have that on the Switch too, don't they? Yeah, Skyward they do. Sword. They do. I might have to get that and play that because I don't. I only played that one the whole way through once to two. Um, I have it. I don't love it as much as I love some of the other Zelda games. And um, it just. I could I couldn't get myself to play through Wind Waker until they sped up the boat. Didn't they yeah, re-release Wind Waker on a higher on a stronger machine they re they re and made a Wind Waker I think twice, once for the Wii and once for the Wii U. Mm, okay, but they yeah they had a they had a version of it where you could like either they sped it up somehow or they had like shortcuts mm. that you could take like like you do in. Um, you know, Breath of the Wild and stuff like that, where you like can warp right to a planet. There. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, that's the I, problem always with huge, huge, huge maps is you spend so much time walking. Like, you guys talk about how much you love Skyrim, but anytime mm -hmm. I would see you guys playing it, all you're fucking doing is walking. The well, most exciting thing... During the exciting parts. The most exciting thing I ever saw you guys do was pick a lock on a door. You never see me kill a dragon in that game? No. Again, I'm I I must just pick you up. But, I'm, but I've seen you guys play for hours at a time before. Go over to your Bullshit. guys' house on Friday. Fe yes, go to your house on Friday festivities. Either Eric, because he used to play that game too. He would play it, or your father. And all I saw him doing was walk around. The. <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited for the Zelda for the Zelda movie. We're coming up on 20 minutes. I think we can wrap it up, right? Yeah, I think we can wrap it up a little bit here. I'm excited for Zelda. I've always said that 
I, I think they were scared because you know some of the the the, the like the CD ROMs or whatever they came up with mm-hmm. weren't very successful. I'm pretty sure they had a cartoon show, another one that maybe did a little bit better than those. But Zelda, they've always needed to do a movie, and I think there should be a Grand Theft Auto movie. I think a Grand Theft Auto movie would be amazing. You make it like a gangster movie; people would love it. Yeah, but what is it going to be different <laughs> about that than every other gangster movie ever? Not much, except for that it can ride the the coattails of the title. Just by yeah, that's terrible. Rain, Nick and, R- 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 by name recognition alone, it would be a huge box, box office draw. But that doesn't make it a better movie. I think the fact that Zelda has its own ideas and stuff makes it different. Like it's not gonna, the Grand Theft Auto movie wouldn't be any different than any other movie. True, but there's characters that people like. Put them in a live action movie. You know, like Name Trevor. Characters. Trevor. Will you be and the and the cop, the corrupt cop that didn't Samuel Jackson play a corrupt cop in one of the one of the games? He's a great character. No I can't idea. remember his name because it was so long ago, but I think it was on uh, the San Andreas one for the PlayStation Two. I don't know, but I keep thinking about Grand Theft Auto Five. This is the third game system that it's being played on, and people still play it. Oh, dude, we we might have another episode here. Uh oh, what? Grand Theft Auto Six has been confirmed, and they're going to announce it soon. Oh shit! We got to get your father back here sometime soon and talk <laughs> about that. You know what? I did hear kids at kids at school talking about how, but I just played it off as a rumors. But no, dude, it's legit. Damn. Oh, shit. See, that's what we need. We need another game for us to play online. Could you imagine how fun it would be to stream us playing a game online together? That would get, be us a hook, get us a hookah palace section with me, you, your dad, and Alex. We used to set we used to set bounties on people, on each other. Mm-hmm. On each other. <laughs> early, then... early. You know, when, when collecting mount, you know, $10,000 for a bounty was kind of a big deal because you needed money and stuff. And draw people to the Hookah Palace, which is like right across the street from the construction site. Mm-hmm. We'd get up; it was like our home base. We'd get up there, and people would come collect the bounty, and we would just defend the bounty. And it was so much fun. Mm-hmm. Th- there was one time me and Alex were playing, um, where I had a, I had a guy in my in my sniper scope. And I sniped him and hit him right in the head. And then he didn't even hit the ground yet. Alex plunged into him with his car. <laughs> and I saw his body close up, go flying, because I had him in my scope. Man, Zelda and Grand Theft Auto, my two favorite games of all. Well, that and MLB The Show, obviously, because I'm such a big baseball fan. And it's part of my YouTube channel. But, man, so much fun playing Grand Theft Auto Five. I have to consider it my favorite game. I've never sat on a video game for 12 hours straight until Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto 5 came on. And it was partly oh, yeah. because of the online play. It mm-hmm. was so fun for me and Alex and me and your dad and you. And even though you were the worst driver in the history of Grand Theft Auto, it was so fun. And, and even your I'm... brother, Grayson, got involved. And Kyle, mm-hmm. we had, I had fun playing with those guys too. So much fun. I've explained to you why I was such a bad driver, right? Mm-hmm. You were purposely because, trying to take lampposts out. Well, because I think, it, I, <laughs> well, it's, I'm autistic, and it made my brain go, yeah. <laughs> it, made, it made my brain light up to see things. <laughs> There's a tree. Burn. <laughs> well, it, it made my brain light up for things to go pop and break. Meanwhile, there, 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 the timer's going down on our mission, and... <laughs> The guy we're supposed to save is that much closer to being murdered. <laughs> no, 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 no. When, that, that was just, those are just cases of me being bad. But the the reason I was bad is because I didn't try to get good at it. Because I liked hitting things. Gotcha. Okay. I remember well, that... one of the missions, I remember one of the missions we were doing, you were like, are you sure you're going to be able to drive? And I'm like, yeah, dude, it'll be fine. <laughs> And immediately, like three seconds later, I drove off the cliff. <laughs> had to do the whole mission over. That was that was the heist. Yeah, that was like the biggest mission at the time. We we're going for a multi-million dollar payout, and you're driving off mountains <laughs> on purpose. No, that wasn't on purpose. That was an accident. 
And the and, and it's not like a lot of other missions where if one person dies, you can keep going. Once one person dies, it's over. You've got to start the fuck over. And it pissed us off so many times. You know how many controller controller drop head in the hands I had to do because of that? Just instantly. Controller down. Oh, man. And your head goes in your hand. But we need to do that here on Respect the Pick. We've got we've got ways of streaming us playing. We've mm-hmm. streamed playing Mario Wonder, which, by the way, I have yet to play Gee, non-streaming. On, you have seen me play that game every time I've played it. I've, I've not played it on my own yet. <laughs> um, we got Mario Wonder that I got to play. Mm-hmm. And we need to bring in some of our big boy video games because your poor father has only heard us talk about Nintendo and Mario and Zelda. Well, what counts as a big boy video game? Like well, Minecraft your Skyrims, or... your Skyrims and um, Spider-Man, right? That's more of a big boy mm-hmm. game. I consider Baldur's, Grand Baldur's Theft Auto. Game. Baldur's Gate, okay. Uh, that but, Sky, but see, the, the space one. What's the space one? Starfield. The thing Starfield. about like Grand Theft Auto and like first-person shooters is the majority of people playing those games are children. It's not adults mm. playing those games. Adults right, are playing but, like Minecraft and Nintendo games. Right, but your your father says that Nintendo is kitty games. So if I mean, even though kids are only playing that game, they're probably targeted toward I mean, you can't if you're under seventeen, you can't even buy Grand Theft Auto, right? Right, but that doesn't change the fact that most of the people playing those games are children. Well, you know I, mean? I understand that, but we're the first generation that grew up with video games. I'm not. So, no, I I'm right. Me and your father are, and so we have, you know, we're the first generation where like the parents will play the games with their kids. Like my dad and my mom played Mario and played Pac Man and played Enduro, and, uh, like this racing game on Atari. I have, I have fond memories of playing. Um, I don't know why we ever did this, but we had a Super Nintendo when I was very young. Okay. And we would play Mario World, and I was. I was like three or something, and we were like, I would play a little bit, and then mom would play a little bit, and then dad would play a little bit. But I would always get very upset when we went to castles because we had to leave Yoshi outside. I wanted to bring him in. Oh, the yeah. Everybody wants Yoshi. And Mario Maker, it's such a big deal because they design all these levels to purposely, where you have to like sacrifice Yoshi to, to make it oh, through the yeah. level. Oh, yeah. One of the, one of the um, YouTube people I watch um, makes levels just like that. Like, you are a monster. Right. Yep. Yep. Because yep. you have to kill all the OGs. <laughs> it's it's wor- The worst is like when you have to drop them in lava because you like have yeah. to see they slowly sink into the lava <laughs> and like his head goes up and down. It, it looks like he's burning alive. Like the like the shoe on uh, <laughs> who framed Roger Rabbit, who Judge Doom dips, puts him in the dip. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty uh, terrifying. Go back to. Um, but yeah, as far as the big boy games, we got two big gamers who could join us to talk about some of these games. Alex, your cousin Alex, and my brother-in-law Heath. Well, um, I, I play a lot of games. I just play a lot of kitty games. I right. love Minecraft and N- Nintendo. Those are my games of choice. Mm-hmm. And I like some of the Star Wars games that are more big boy games. I like Force Unleashed and I, I'm really looking forward to Star Wars Outlaws. It looks like it's going to be so fun, an open-world Star Wars game. But again, please give us some kind of online version because I would love to play that game with you guys. If we could like buy our own ships and you know, like deck them out, that would be pretty badass. And then you fly around and have space well, battles I mean, and it, stuff. It's, it sounds like to me you just want Starfield, but online with Star Wars. And Star Wars. Yeah. Is Star is no Starfield plans to be online or anything? I don't know. Seems like Call of Duty are the only games that, you know, Call of Game Duty and all those are the only ones that do multiplayer stuff anymore. Hey, I mean Nintendo. Oh, whoa! I mean Nintendo has stuff like Smash Bros. and Mario Kart. And yeah, but you can't even talk to each other on those when you're playing, unless you yeah, get the stupid I mean, app you were talking about, right? Yeah, can't you do it on like an app on the. On the switch on or phone. something? Oh, it's on, no, your, on phone. your phone. Ugh, dumb. All right. Well, Zelda movie. 
Let us know in the comments. Are you excited about it? Yay or nay? What's the tone? What do you think the tone should be? Should it be live action? Would they be better off doing the animated? Who do you think should be? Who's who's the cast? There you go. Give us your cast. I say no name. Jaden has some people in mind, right? I think Tom Holland would be great for Link. Nah, I guess so. Maybe. I mean, he already he already bombed playing one video game character, didn't he? No, he that movie did good. <sighs> I thought everybody said he was clearly the wrong choice for Nathan Drake. I thought that movie did well. I mean, I didn't see it. I thought. And People Marky Mark for Sully? Come on. Get Marky Mark out of here. Marky Mark is my rock to you. I hate Marky Mark. <laughs> you hate Marky Mark? I don't know what it is. Does he have something... permission to come beat you up? I mean, he would. He would kick the shit out of me because he's like, what? He's almost 60 and he's ripped his shit. And my fat ass at 45. <laughs> but... Yeah, that's what we got. Give us your opinion on the Zelda on the Zelda movie coming out. We want to know who do you, who do you want to play some of the characters? Uh, would it be better off as a TV show? Because I almost think it would. You know, much like the Harry Potter know. series, I, I I think. And Harry Potter is something that we've never even touched on this show. I think Harry Potter, um, you know, especially with all these streaming services now competing against each other, if the movies never existed, okay? Because here's the problem. Mm-hmm. People are going to have a big problem with Emma Watson being replaced. People are going to have a big problem yeah. with Rupert Grant being replaced. Everyone's going to have a big problem with Daniel Ratcliffe being replaced. And Snape, you know, that's going to be the biggest par- problem, getting over that. You know, getting over the new characters, you know, or the new actors playing these characters. I don't know. I just... Why? But, Why are they doing but, it? But say that the... Movies never existed. If at the time the streaming services were as big as they are now, Harry Potter never would have been a movie. It would have been a TV show. Just because there's so much content within those books. Those some of those books, especially five, they're like this freaking thick. You know, they're like a Bible. So you, like you know, we, you could should, you could do should. like a whole season on one book. And well, I we think got a table talking about it. Harry Potter till Dad's back here with us. I agree. So we'll save that for another episode. Until then, like, subscribe, please comment, comment. Ring that freaking bell. Ring the bell. Check us out on TikTok, and keep your eyes and ears open because we are coming soon to your favorite audio. What, what well, do you call your, it? An audio yeah, your fa- your format? favorite podcasts. Yeah, your favorite, your favorite place we're hoping, to get podcasts. We're hoping to be on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple, all those bad guys. All those Unless bad boys, your like, so. favorite place to get podcasts is dumb. You know, if it's like stupid, and we will probably <laughs> won't be on that one. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, we'll, we'll avoid the dumb ones. But yeah. until then, until then, watch us and listen to us on YouTube, and we will see you very, very shortly. Well, probably we probably won't see you. You'll probably see us. Right. But, yeah. Okay. Respect the pick. <laughs>